Hi, I'm Mike with Michigan Specialty Paper. Today I'm going to show you how to make a t-shirt using heat transfer paper for light and dark colored shirts. Here's what you're going to need to make a t-shirt. First, you'll need a good quality 100% cotton or 50-50 blend t-shirt. Next, you'll need an inkjet printer that uses pigmented inks and an art program like CorelDRAW or Photoshop, a good pair of scissors or X-Acto knife, and finally a heat press. Before we begin, let's take a moment and discuss printer ink. There are two types of inks used in inkjet printers, dye-based and pigment-based. For example, if your printer is an Epson and has more than five ink cartridges, or is labeled a photo printer, it probably uses dye-based ink. We don't recommend using dye-based inks for transfers. In our experience, dye-based ink fades quickly and can wash out after a few washes. Instead, use pigmented inks. If your inkjet printer has five or less ink cartridges, it probably uses pigmented ink. Pigmented inks are color fast, giving your t-shirt significantly better washability, which will ensure longer life. Check before you buy a printer and make sure your inkjet printer uses pigmented ink. Another important subject to touch on before we begin are heat presses. Use a good heat press that can handle a variety of pressures and heat. Not all heat presses are built equally, so do your research before buying one. A good press will last years, a cheap one won't. Some heat presses advertised at a low price deliver even lower performance, so take some time and look for the best you can afford. And last, be sure to use a good heat transfer paper when printing your design. Not all paper is the same. A premium paper like Nina's Jet Pro Soft Stretch or MSP Blueback will give bright colors, feel soft on the shirt, and hold up through many washings. Cheaper brands do not transfer color well, often have a stiffer feel on the shirt, and don't always hold up under repeated washes. We already have our transfer made, so let's get started. First, turn your press on and set the temperature, time, and pressure specified in the instructions included with your paper. We'll be using MSP Blueback. Set your press temperature to 375 degrees with a pressing time of 25 to 30 seconds using medium pressure. Trim the excess paper away from your design. Position your shirt on the press and use a lint roller to clear the fabric of any debris before pressing. Next, press the shirt for three to five seconds to remove the moisture and any wrinkles. If you fold your t-shirt in half and lightly press it, you'll have a visible line which allows you to align the t-shirt to the center of the press and make positioning of your transfer easier. Use a T-square to assist when you position the transfer on the shirt. Press the shirt for the time indicated in your instructions. When finished, open the press and peel the transfer. Make sure you peel the transfer correctly. Some papers are labeled cold peel, some hot peel. If it's cold peel, let the shirt cool, say, maybe a minute before peeling the transfer paper off the shirt. You can also use a heat eraser to quickly cool your shirt for cold peel papers. Briskly rub it across the design for a few seconds, then peel the backing off the shirt. Here's a tip to stop cracking and extend the life of your design. Stretch or snap the fabric immediately after peeling the transfer paper off a shirt. Then repress the design for three to four seconds. The stretching will ensure the design lasts longer, gives it a softer feel, and helps eliminate future cracking. Okay, that's how you make a light color shirt. Now let's see how you make a dark shirt using Nina's Jet Opaque Transfer Paper. At this point, you'll do all the things we discussed when making a light shirt. You'll need a good quality 100% cotton or 50-50 blend shirt and as before, print your design on an inkjet printer that uses pigmented inks and print the image right reading. Finally, we recommend you use a good quality heat press. Trim the excess paper away from your design. 
Set your press according to the instructions that come with the paper. For Nina's Jet Opaque, we'll set the press temperature to 350 degrees and press for 30 seconds using medium pressure. With opaque paper, you have to separate the polymer material from the paper backing. You can do this several ways. First, you can carefully rip a corner of the backing paper. This will allow you to peel back the transfer. Or, you can use an X-Acto knife to pick at the edge and separate the transfer from the backing. Whichever method you use, be careful not to stretch the transfer material when you peel it away from the backing paper. Position your transfer on the t-shirt and cover it with a pressing sheet. Press the shirt as instructed by your paper manufacturer. When finished, remove the shirt from the press and let it cool. You can use a heat eraser to speed up the cooling before removing the pressing sheet. Before we finish, I'd like to talk to you about washing your shirts. There are washing instructions on the product sheet included with each package of paper we sell. I urge you to read them. The first thing you need to do when you wash your shirt is turn the shirt inside out before putting it into the washing machine. You need to wash your shirts in cold water using a mild detergent, but never use bleach. Bleach will fade a shirt decorated with heat transfers. Once again, turn your shirt inside out, wash it in a washing machine using cold water, and don't hand wash your shirt. Oh, I almost forgot, don't use bleach. After washing, you can line dry your shirt or put it in a dryer set at low heat and your shirt will last a long time. Using the heat transfer process to decorate fabric offers you an almost endless range of possibilities. If you have any questions about anything you've seen, please contact Michigan Specialty Paper. Thank you.